people that are watching that you know they, they hold Bitcoin and Ethereum, they're trying to get interested in DeFi, they sort of don't understand the back end too much. Um, you know, oracles, you often hear like, you know, without oracles like Chainlink or like these other oracles, you know, DeFi wouldn't exist. But like, what does that really mean? You know, why does it not exist? Why is super oracles necessary uh, for DeFi or for these price feeds? Maybe you could just explain that a little bit more. Yeah, so, you know, once again, a lot of these uh, uh, like use cases for smart contract platforms, they're limited in scope because they, can, they have to act off of some information. So if, if this information is purely just data that's on chain or historical information, then the like the the kind of range of what can be done is limited. So uh, you know there's many kind of use cases and products that can be created, uh, including synthetic products. So this means might be like you know different other tokens from other ecosystems on chain. It could be uh, digital assets represented on chain. It could be um, insurance products, it could be a wide variety of different, um, you know, services, uh, in, 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 including uh, like getting analytic and performance data mm -hmm. on and like non-fungible tokens, NFTs. So uh, there's there's actually a lot of things that can be done um, with oracles that you otherwise just really simply cannot do uh, with mm -hmm. blockchains without oracles.